What is up everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about something that we love talking about. One of my favorite subjects. One of, my, one of both of our favorite subjects and that is advertising and more specifically Amazon advertising. So this video is going to be all about that. It's not so much like a beginner's tutorial that there's all over YouTube like how to set up ads, how to get impressions, They're things like that. if you want it, but yeah, that's not can, this one. Yeah, that's not this video. This video is about that real shit, how to actually scale your ads. I know the title says how to double book sales, but it's more like we, 5x we or 10x. We wanted to keep it believable, yeah. you know? Now, you can definitely 10x your sales with ads, but I don't know. We don't want to come off that way like, ooh, 10x. Yeah. But it's kind of real. But it's, li it's literally 10x. But, so here's the deal with ads. To be able to make a shitload of money with ads, you have to spend a lot with ads. And with Amazon ads, a lot of people, they like to just dabble around and throw like $50, $100, maybe $1,000 in a month in ads, which can give you a sick return. But to really make a shitload, like $10,000 in profit just from your ads, you need to spend a lot, and that involves scaling ads. That also reminds me of a big major point that I want to briefly talk about uh -huh. that people don't seem to understand. Uh -huh. right? So there's this metric when it comes to oh, yeah. AMS ads, now called AA ads, okay? They changed the name like almost a year ago at this point. Like, let's start calling it what it is. It's AA That's ads. AA ads. Yeah. It used to be called AMS, no longer that though. And that is sort of the fact that people are always chasing this one statistic, and that is the ACOS. Yeah. So briefly what ACOS is, it sort of determines like your return on ad spend. Average if you're talking Facebook ads, uh, it would be ROAS. If you're talking Amazon ads, it's ACOS. It basically just determines how efficient are your ads. But what it doesn't tell you is how much profit are you actually making, which is what fucking matters. It seems like people are chasing to have a 5%, 10% ACOS. Yeah. But who cares if you have $5 in ad spend? Okay, I made $5 to make $20. We made $15 in total. Yeah. Who cares? So what matters is not ACOS. No one gives a shit about your ACOS. What matters in the end is profit. So if you sacrifice some efficiency, for a lot more scale, you're making way more profit. Quick example, you would way rather spend 100K to make 110K, that's 10K profit, than spend 200 to make 8K. That's only 7.8K profit. Okay, now that's an extreme example, but that's what we're talking about, yeah. okay? Profit is what matters. Yeah. But now, let's get into actually what we want to talk about. You have to spend money. How you spend money is getting impressions with your ads. So it's basically the five big things you need to do to scale your impressions, scale your ads, and spend a lot of money, and then in return, make a lot of money with ads. So the first thing you need to know about running Amazon ads is that to get your ads seen by a lot of people, you need to run your ads on keywords with high demand and high search volume. Like, you can't run ads to a book about zucchini gardening and expect a lot of people to see that, see that ad because not many people are searching zucchini gardening. It's you, just not gonna work, you can't scale ads about that. You can't force people to look at your ad if they haven't searched it first. This is not like Facebook ads where you could run ads to anyone. Yeah, they're just looking through photos and here's an ad. Yeah. They didn't ask for it, just there it is. They have to search it first. So this is another reason why we've always preached and said that we like to publish in niches with, even if they have high competition, they have super high demand. So yeah. much rather high competition and high demand than low competition and low demand. Much better. You, you can't, can't create demand on its own. Yeah. But you can just outspend the competition. High demand, as always, there's another reason why. For this next thing you need to know about Amazon ads, we're gonna go somewhere else. So let's quickly get Transition game on point. I'm just walking to the second spot. Now the second thing you need to know to make the most from your Amazon ads is that to get your ads seen by a lot of people, you need to run your ads on tons of keywords. And I mean like, thousands of keywords. In Literally each thousands. In yeah. each campaign, there's a limit of 1,000 keywords like per campaign, per book. So people put this mental block in their heads like, oh, you can only do 1,000 keywords. They're like That's the top. Like, uh, hello, no, just make more campaigns for the same book. If you can run ads to 5,000 keywords over five separate campaigns, you're gonna get way more impressions. Way more people are gonna see your book than if you just do one campaign. So the secret here is have multiple campaigns for your books. The keywords that you think are going to perform the best for your campaigns, 99% of the time are not the ones that will actually perform the best. That's yeah. why you have to test it first. Yeah. And you have to target so many other keywords because you never know how they're actually going to perform. It's gonna be some random unexpected one that's gonna make you like 1000% ROI. So the point is that you, like, you don't know. So you need to run ads to tons and tons of tons of keywords to see what sticks. So how is it that you get thousands of keywords 
for your books for your campaigns it might sound like it takes a long time but you can literally do it in just 10 minutes now we're not gonna go in depth here because it'll take a long time we'll but make I'll, another I'll, video I make a all about video it. going super in depth telling you guys everything about it um, but for now let me just tell you the applications we use that is one KDP rocket link in the description if you're curious to buy it uh, also known as publisher rocket now and then Google keyword planner which is completely free if you use these two together, you can only find thousands of keywords in 10 or 15 minutes. So I just want to say that, but we will cover that in a different video. Now on to point three. The third thing you need to understand to make the most from your Amazon ads is that your ads need to have a high click-through rate. And that probably won't make much sense to you if you don't understand how the Amazon bidding system works. So I think most people think that to get the top ad spot you need the highest bid but that's not the case at all in the end what Amazon cares about is making the most money and putting the ad with the highest bid amount is not what makes them the most money because that ad still has to be clicked on yeah if no one clicks on it, Amazon doesn't make any money no matter are willing to spend fifty dollars for a click no so one you, clicks on doesn't matter so you need an ad that attracts clicks because again that's when Amazon gets paid. And that's what a high click-through rate is. It's an ad that gets clicked on a lot. Yeah. So real quick, I want to actually go to the computer just to show you guys a graphic to explain more what I'm talking about. And then once I explain this, you'll like have a much better understanding of this. Yeah. So we actually need a computer for this. Clap it in, all right? That was a weak ass clap. To explain this, uh, I'm actually going to be referring to, well, let's go inside the computer real quick. This is a PowerPoint slide from AIA 2.0 that we're in the process of creating very close. Never mind all that. But uh, just to explain how the Amazon bidding system works. Now, here I have three books on the screen that are all hypothetically competing to rank for the word dog training. So you have three books. One is a cat training book. One is a very popular dog training book. And one is like a subpar self-published dog training book. All with hypothetical CPC bids as shown, 60 cents, 25 cents, and 30 cents. Now, if you didn't know any better, you'd probably think that the cat training book would get the top ad spot. Not the case though, Not because case. a very realistic click-through rate for these three books since it's searching dog training, they're most likely not going to click on a cat training book. So about a 0.1% click-through rate, which I would probably expect it to be even lower than that, is realistic for a famous dog training book, 0.8% with a lot of reviews, a great cover. So 0.8% would mean that this ad is getting eight clicks for every 1,000 impressions. And then for a subpar self-published dog training book, about five clicks because it's still called dog training. They're highly relevant to each other still, but it's not as attractive as this popular and famous dog training book. Yeah. So considering that these statistics actually hold up, which I think that they would, um, Per 1,000 impressions, this cat training book would be generating 60 cents for Amazon. Because mm -hmm. one click for every 1,000 impressions, and that's 60 cents. Then you have this famous dog training book called Dog Training Revolution. 25 cents times eight clicks means Amazon is making $2 for every 1,000 impressions. And then for the self-published dog training book, five clicks at 30 cents, mm -hmm. they'd be making $1.50 per 1,000 impressions. So when you look at this and ask yourself the question, what is going to make the most money for Amazon? The answer is the, the famous dog training book here in the middle. The one that actually had the lowest CPC bid. And it's all because it has by far the highest click-through rate. So in the end, that's the most powerful factor, your click-through rate. And let's show that graphic right there. That's how it's gonna look. Let's look at what the bid would have to be for the other two books to overtake that ad spot for the Dog Training Revolution book. Looks something like that. The cat training book would need to bid over two dollars to get the spot given this data yeah given this data and then the self-published dark training book would have to be 41 cents yeah so I'm guessing you probably didn't know that that's how it actually works but it is which also means that you can't just up the uh, the bid price for your book and expect to get more impressions no and at the same time you can't lower it and expect to get less yeah. what you, what you need to focus on is a high click to rate and how do you do that there's really four main factors actually five main factors uh, and we'll put them in number of importance. But yeah, I want to make a separate video going super in depth about it. Yes. Yeah, so just briefly mention it now. Yeah, right. Order of importance, the no most important thing would be relevance to the keyword. If your book is related to what they're searching, that's going to be very important to have them click on it. Number two is the reviews on the book. Number three is your cover. Number four is your title. And then number five is going to be your little ad copy for your ad. And those are really the five things that matter to have a high click-through rate. We can make a whole other video talking about that. Let's talk about the next thing. So let's do one of these. The fourth thing you need to understand when it comes to running the most profitable Amazon campaigns for your books 
is that it's not a set it and forget it system. It's not something you just set up once and then forget about and expect to make really good money with it. No, no. Now you can make profit with it, but if you want to, you know, make the most out of it, you have to set aside time every single week to look at your ads and optimize them. The O word. It's all about optimizing your ads on a weekly basis. Yeah. Now, I, like you said, at least once a week. Bare minimum I, once a week. At ideally two to three, but you can get away with once a week optimizing all your campaigns. Mondays at 4 p.m. Let's say that. Mondays like at 4 p.m. You should be block, optimizing your ads every single week. Block, block out 30 minutes to just do that because it's going to make you way more money when you optimize your ads like yeah. that. And Amazon ads are actually not that complicated at all. Mm -hmm. Now, especially when you compare it to Facebook ads, I actually think Amazon ads is like the best stepping stone to get into just knowledge as an internet market with advertising yeah it's yeah. a much more simpler and dumbed down version of facebook ads so when it comes to optimizing your campaigns there's really only four different things that you can do you can delete a keyword if it's unprofitable you can increase the bid price if you want to get more impressions you can decrease the bid price if you want to lower your ad spend and you can add keywords to your campaigns if you want to reach more people mm -hmm. that's really all you can do after the fact right um, so just be aware, I want to make a separate video talking all about that. Optimization for Amazon ads, absolutely. That's worth the whole video in itself. But for this last point, this last one's a big one. Uh, let's talk about that. <laughs> so the last point we want to talk about to get the most out of your Amazon ads, this last one is a big one and we want to end on like an actionable one that you can apply right now when this video is over. And that is to start running your UK and Canada ads. So the thing with that is to run ads in the UK and Canada, you need a completely separate Amazon ads account. So to run them all, all three platforms, you need three different ads accounts. Just the way it is, deal with it. So what you need to do is set up an AA UK account and a AA Canada account. So we can leave links down below if we remember. We're generally not very good at putting links. How to apply and register for that? Yeah, apply and register down below. You'll send a request and then Amazon has to approve you. So you won't be approved tonight, but it might take a few weeks. It might take a few months, who knows? But once this video is done, send your application to get your UK and Canada account made. Like that is a must because there's so little competition on these two platforms you can have super low CPCs and make so much ROI. I mean, can you triple I your ad profits like, right like, there? I feel like such an internet marketer yeah. hopping around saying CPCs, <laughs> CPCs, <laughs> ROIs. But you could triple your fucking ad CTRs. profits just by doing that. Yes, that is, that's a big one. So that really wraps up this video. That was like the five things that you have to know and understand when it comes to running the best Amazon ads. Yes. Yes. Now I want to say before we play that epic intro and do all that, whatever, People have been asking about AA 2.0, like when's it gonna be released? What's it gonna be like? What's in it and everything like that? So I just wanna say a little bit about it. People have been asking when it's going to be ready. So at the moment, we're about 85% done with it. Yeah. About a month from now, right now is like May 20th by the time this video is up. So hopefully before a month, maybe like three weeks from now, it will be up and available. But it is, like I said, 85% complete. So what we've been doing is giving 1.0 course members beta access Our to current go through the students. course. Everyone who's currently in AI 1.0 gets a free upgrade because yeah. that's just the Microsoft Twins lifestyle. Yeah, so being that we're almost done with it, if you buy 1.0 right now, you can actually get access to 2.0 right now. Yeah. Right now that no one else has a month before it's released. There's just a few things that we want to add and finish before we actually release it. So this is simply just for everyone who's been asking, okay? If you want to, you can. Link in the description, that's every, everything we wanted to say. And, and How long is 2.0 right now? Bam. So far, it's 18 hours long. By the yeah. time we're done, it's gonna be about 23, 24. Yeah. 1.0 1, 1. is eight hours long. Yeah, like, it's, it's already insane. the best publishing course uh, in the industry. Can we put some testimonials real quick? Of sure. Beta testers? Anyway, uh, well that basically wraps up this video. Magic Mojo of the day, best thing for this, Amazon ads, money, I don't like to just use money emojis every time, but just the money bags, like the bag of gold coins specifically. Because Amazon is like, Amazon ads is like gold coins. And it makes the most sense. So. Yeah, it does make the most sense. That's the end of this video. If you like all that shit, we put animation on screen. I don't need to say it. Don't jump in the Okay, pool. back to the video to end it. What? Ah, uh, psych, not gonna do it. Okay, That's stupid. I do it all the time. All right, I don't want to like fanboy too much because I'm not finished going through the 2.0 yet, but it's just, 
so fucking good, man. You guys have done an incredible job of making the most comprehensive, in-depth, and just value-packed course. Like, there's so many things that you've gone through that I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't realise that till I was, like, three or four months into the process, but you're, like, telling people up front. I just, yeah, I... <laughs> Obviously, I'll send you through the full feedback. I should, hopefully, I've gone through everything in the next week and I'll send it over. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I just think it's absolutely astonishing. You guys have, have fucking smashed it with this course. It's, it's fantastic.